We are now at Shell Technology Center with the fuel scientist Rudiger Hein. Could you please tell more about the place? We are here developing and testing uh, automotive fuels, uh, automotive lubricants and other automotive fluids. What kind of a project it is to develop a new fuel to Shell and could you take us through the journey? Well, it's a long process to develop a new fuel. It can take up to five years. More than 150 scientists from an international team are involved in this development. We use as well the knowledge of our colleagues who develop the Shell V-Power race fuels for the Scuderia Ferrari so that we can really leverage their knowledge, our knowledge and our long history in innovation. It all starts mainly here in the fuels lab where we can test many ideas, so a huge variety in quite a short time using small amounts of product. At the end, we will end up with yeah, a handful of formulations where we think that's really promising and delivers the right values to our customers. So they will then go into the next step, which would be an engine test bench, where we take out of the engine, set it up on a test bench. We can control most of the parameters so that we have always the same boundary conditions. Once we're happy with the results there, we go on to full vehicle testing. So there, the full vehicle is running with a new formulation, uh, but as well under controlled conditions. Finally, we always take out the new fuel in a fleet trial, in a field trial, where we have a fleet of vehicles running out on the road here around Hamburg to check if it works in everyday driving. Once that is fine, the process starts to bring this product to the pump, which is well done in, in many steps. What are the benefits gained from using a performance fuel and how does one achieve them? The new and improved Shell V-Power contains specifically designed uh, cleaning agents. It cleans 100% and it prevents from buildup of deposits on these components like fuel injectors and inlet valves. Shell claims to be transitioning into a low-carbon future. Why is it therefore investing in diesel or gasoline fuel in the future? The amount of customers uh, driving vehicles with alternative fuels, so such as EVs, is constantly growing. But still, uh, a lot of customers are not able to do the switch right now. So we have to make sure that we constantly develop our products, our traditional products, but on the same time invest in alternative fuels. So for example, charging infrastructure.